Don't even think about making a move to Kelowna until you finish watching the rest of this video. Here are the top five steps you need to take before you make a move across the country, across provincial borders, or within BC itself. So let's get after it. Welcome to Live Love Kelowna. I think we can all agree that Kelowna is known for its stunning natural beauty and growing job market. It's a popular destination for those looking to relocate, especially within the last three years or so. Now, I know from personal experience that moving to a new city, regardless if it's from a different province, can be overwhelming. So it's important to have a plan in place. In this video, I'm going to break down the top five steps for moving here to Kelowna so you can make your transition as smooth as possible. All right, step number one is research the area. Before making the move, it's important to get a sense of what it's actually like to live here in Kelowna. Look into the job market, housing prices, and of course, the cost of living. This will help, help you make an informed decision about whether or not Kelowna is the right place for you. Now, I highly, highly suggest that if you have the time and the inclination to come out here for a week, week or two at different times of the year and really explore the neighborhoods, get a sense of what it's like to actually live here. Because once you get here, it's tough to go back if you don't like it. All right, on to step number two, find a place to live. Once you've decided to make the move to Kelowna, the next state step is obviously finding a place to live. Now, whether you're looking at a rental or a place to buy, researching different neighborhoods and visiting them to get a personal feel for the area is super important. So questions to ask, do you have kids? Are school districts going to be important? Do they play sports? Uh, communities like Lake Country and West Kelowna are something to consider when looking at commute times into the city. Do you wanna be in the heart of the city? Then maybe condo living is more your lifestyle. So I'd start with the lifestyle aspect and then start to work your way back from there. Hey, if you're liking this video so far and you're looking for more information like this on the regular, then it's super important for you to smash that subscribe button, give us a like and ring that old notification bell so that you're alerted every time we upload a new video to the channel. All right, let's get back to what you came for, back to the video. Okay, here's step number three, and it's kind of important. If you're looking to buy, sorting out your finances is part of the process. Moving can be expensive, so it's important to make sure that you have your finances in order. Now, this may include saving up some money, budgeting for the move. Will you hire movers? Will you use a CCAN? Incidentally, there's a big difference in pricing uh, out there, so know what you can afford. Also, make sure to get your credit in check. The last thing that you want is any hiccups when it comes to going out house shopping. You should know that BC has a land transfer tax and that is payable on closing. You'll likely need an inspection or a condo doc review, maybe an appraisal, title insurance, uh, maybe even CMHC fees, depending on how much money you're putting down. And of course your legal fees and depending on when you buy, you may owe some property taxes. So get it all out on the table. And of course I can help you navigate through all of that. All right, here we are at step number four, get all of your paperwork in order. Make sure that you have all of the necessary documents for your move, including driver's license, passport, and any other identification that you might need. As for the mortgage pre-approval, make sure you have your pay stubs and employer letter in two to three years of, an, of, not, of your notices of assessment, depending on if you are self-employed or not. All right, last but not least, and probably my least favorite, packing and moving. Once you've got all of your paperwork in order, your finances sorted out, it's time to pack and move. Hire a reputable moving company and start packing your belongings. Now, there is a big difference, like I mentioned before, in price when looking to hire movers versus going the CCAN option and packing that thing yourself. So having a, a company like SecureRite, that's a company that we used, uh, we packed up the CCAN and we, we had them ship it actually to their yard here in Kelowna. This is how we probably saved ourselves about $16,000 in the process. All right, that's all I have for you today. Make sure to check out the video on the right-hand side of your screen. That video will take you to the top areas that I recommend to watch in Kelowna in 2023. And as always, if you have any questions about making a smooth transition to Kelowna, make sure that you reach out and give me a call at 778-716-7527, or you can always send me an email, kelly at kellyscar.com. All right, we'll see you on the next video.